Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add mods to a Minecraft 1.16.4 server. Now I'm already assuming you have a Forge server set up and that you have Forge installed. If you don't, in the description down below you'll find our in-depth guide for starting a Forge server. It literally walks you through every single step and even allows you to get your friends to join your server. On top of that, in that it will show you how to install Forge in single player. However, in the description we also have our single player Forge tutorial linked because your friends will need to install Forge and install the mods that you have on your server in order to play on your server. So let me walk through that one more time. When you start this video, you should have your Forge server set up. If not, you can check out the description down below as well as the eye at the top of your screen and how to do that. After you have your Forge server set up, you will have Forge installed locally for yourself. But when your friends want to play on your server, they will have to install Forge as well and install any mods that are on your server on their Minecraft single player in order to join the server. It's a pretty simple process once you get in there, but it can sound a little complicated, so I'm going to go ahead and walk us through it. First things first, let's get the mods installed on our server. For this video, we're going to be installing a few mods. All the mods we're going to be installing are linked in the description down below, but we do have a list of top 5 1.16 mods that you can find linked down there as well to get some more you know, mods that might not be listed in this video. So first off, we're going to install World Edit. Once you're on this page, you can scroll down, click on that green download world edit button. Then we want to come over here to the right hand side, scroll down until we see Minecraft 1.16. And then we want to download this version, which is Forge for MC 1.16.4. Again, we're running a Forge server here, so we always want to download the Forge version of world edit or any mods that we're downloading. After a few seconds, it will download in the bottom left. It's safe to keep it. You may need to save the file on Mozilla Firefox. Xero's minimap, same thing. Scroll down, click on this yellow download Xero's minimap button. Then again, we want to come over here to the right hand side, scroll down until we find this Minecraft 1.16 section and download the Forge 1.16.4 version by clicking that purple download button. It's then going to take a few seconds and it will download right like so. Now you are noticing that some of these have 1.16.3 as well. That's because many 1.16.3 mods also work in 1.16.4 without any updating. We're going to go ahead and click keep on that file. Missile Crayfish's vehicle mod is a really, really cool mod that adds all these awesome vehicles into uh, Minecraft. And it's from Mr. Crayfish, which is just an awesome YouTuber in and of himself. So again, we want to come over here to the right hand side, scroll down, click on this purple download button under that 1.16 version. And last but not least, this does require the Obfuscate mod, which is basically a utility mod, kind of a library mod that Mr. Crayfish launch or hooks into in order to give you his mod. So again, that's linked in the description down below. Come over here to the right hand side, scroll down, and click on that purple download button under the 1.16. 16 section right like so over scroll there by accident Let's click on that and again we want to keep mr crayfish's mod in the bottom left and after this is downloaded we want to keep obfuscate as well now we minimize our browser here on our desktop we do have world edit xero's minimap the vehicle mod and obfuscate now you'll also notice that we have a forge server set up you should already have your forge server if you don't again go to the description down below and it will show you how to get that However, if these mods don't go to your desktop, they're in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Get that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in downloads in this downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that, and in here you will find your mods. Drag them to your desktop for ease of use. Now what we want to do is go ahead and open up our Forge server file, and then in this we want to go ahead and open up our mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder in your server, guess what? That's because you don't have a Forge server. You need to go set one up using our tutorial. Once you've opened your mods folder, it's really simple. Just highlight over, you know, select all the mods you want to install, go ahead and right click, and then click on copy, and then come in here and right click and click on paste. It should then move all the mods in here. If not, you can move them all directly by just dragging and dropping, but I did it that way because we need to install these mods locally as well. So now our mods are installed in the mods folder on our Forge server. Any mods that you want to install on your modded Minecraft server just need to be dragged and dropped into that mods folder. But we're not done just yet. Like I said, we need to install these locally as well. So to do that, we want to go ahead and click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left. This time we want to go ahead and type in run, and then we have this run app. Click on that, and then in this app we want to type percent app data percent. So percent sign, app data percent sign, exactly like that, and hit enter. That will then open up our roaming folder, and in here we should have a .minecraft folder. Then you should have a mods folder. Most of you, 99.9% .9 of you, will have a mods folder because you've already installed Forge locally when you started your server. For those of you that don't though, let's go ahead and right click and create a new folder, and you can title that mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. 
Then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder and drag and drop all the mods that you install on your server into this mods folder. All of your friends will also need to download all these mods and drag them drop them into your mods folder. I do recommend having them download all the mods themselves instead of sending them mods because many mods don't allow you to redistribute like that. So make sure that you direct them to the correct links to download, have them download it and install it. And then they can send you a screenshot of everything just to make sure that they do have all the mods. Now we can go ahead and start our Forge server, right like so, by just double clicking on the run.bat file. We also can go ahead and open up Minecraft, but again, you don't just want to click that play button or anything. You want to make sure that you select the Forge profile. So we're going to go ahead, select that Forge profile, and then click play. I'm going to be selecting one that I've created because, uh, well, it's the correct resolution, and we're making a video, so you won't need to be able to see. But as you can see, our server is starting up over here, and Minecraft is launching in the center of your screen. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut until Minecraft is open, and our server is launched. See you after a quick jump cut. So here we are, our server is live and Minecraft is open. If we click on the mods tab, we've got World Edit, Xero's Minimap, and Mr. Crayfish's Vehicle Mod, as well as Obviskate, all installed. Now let's go ahead, click on Multiplayer. I'm gonna go ahead to Direct Connect. This is a local server, so we can just connect to our local IP address there, and then join right on in. As you can see, we're joining in over here on the left-hand side, and at this point, if the mods aren't installed correctly, like you don't have the mods installed locally, it will go ahead and tell you that. It'll say, hey, mods are, you know, the mod list is messed up and things like that. So be prepared for that, and it says that, you need to look and make sure the mods that are in your mods folder match all the mods that are on your server but as you can see here we join in we do have our minimap in the top left we can hit y open up all of our minimap settings we can go in here and reset those settings if we want to right like so looking good let me go ahead and time set day oh i'm not opt on this server so you do need to be opt to use some stuff with mods right for example world edit is an op only mod to do that you want to come over here to your cmd type op and then your username so op nix games in my case that's going to make me op and now i can set it to daytime just so it's a little prettier now once we've done that we can go ahead and test another mod which is going to be world edit to do that just do slash slash wand and there it is there's our world edit wand in our hands we can then uh, i don't know it's always fun to like change stuff to gold it's like my thing for some reason with these uh world edit video so we can go ahead and select there select there go ahead and go into creative so we can see this happen and then we want to go ahead and slash slash replace the grass block with a uh with a gold block boom there we go as you can see we've now got a golden almost pathway unintentionally right there set up now there's also the mr crayfish's vehicle mod so let's go ahead and like over there and here it is here's all the different components as you can see you've got wheels you've got all these different vehicle crates and things like that fluid trailer doom bucky uh dirt bike i believe how these work is uh you put them down and then they kind of yeah there we go so that's cool so we've got that let's go ahead and grab uh, a few more cool ones here what else we have smart car that could be a cool one i believe you can drive these by the way i just uh it's been a while i've, I've checked out this mod in the past but it's a really, really cool mod, I'm not going to lie. So <laughs> I do, do want to kind of like check all this out a little bit. But Mr. Gravish, obviously an awesome YouTuber as well. Makes incredible videos and makes awesome mods. So let's go ahead and place that down. The tractor. And then I believe we have the dune buggy as well. It's kind of like our last little cool thing here. So there we go. Let's go ahead and start off riding the dune buggy around. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> you can take it on jumps. Really, really cool. You can obviously go up blocks too well here. There might be a way to do that, but it doesn't seem like you can. We've also got our tractor here. Now, this may be able to go up blocks, yes, because it's a much bigger vehicle. This can go up blocks without any problems. It can, like, plow through blocks. No, it can't. But you can hook trailers to this, all of that stuff. A little bit of a glitch. We, we've kind of glitched into a tree there. There we go. But, uh, yeah, cool a little tractor. By a little tractor, it's quite a large tractor. And then we have our smart car as well. This is really fast. Can this go up blocks? Yes, it can. That's actually surprising. Wow, this is a fast car. Whoa, it's a fast, smart car. That's crazy. And then we do have the dirt bike as well. Just want to take this one for a spin. Because, yeah, it actually has a lean mechanic. I thought it did. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a, a lean mechanic when you go around a corner or something. It leans when that happens. So cool a little detail there and a very, very cool mod. So I do have a dedicated video coming up on this. But there you have it. That is how you can get mods on your Minecraft 1.16.4 server. I'm currently caught in a tree. But thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Enjoy all of the mods that you have installed. Again, just drop them in the mods folder on your server and then drop them in the mods folder on your local computer. Then you're good to go. Your friends who are playing on your server will also need to do that, by the way. So that's, that's the important part is making sure that your friends are also installing the mods in such a way that, um, you know, or on their local single player as well. So that's kind of important part there that uh, I think a lot of people might, might miss. But 
yeah, that's that's uh, that's how you can do it. That's how you can set up mods, get everything up and running. And let's see, can we can we attach this? I've got to, I've got to try it, right? I've got to try. God, the tractor's a little hard to drive. Like it's actually got like big tractor sort of mechanics with driving, and like you have to turn the wheels just as you would a real life tractor. So very unexpected there, but there you have it. We can now back up. I don't know if this is going to attach. I think you have to do something special to attach them, and I don't know what that is. But nevertheless, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. We have 1.16.4 native grief-protected survival with medieval survival having 30 custom quests and a player-based economy and aquatic survival having an awesome slash shot-based economy. We've also got amazing Skyblock with huge updates coming to Skyblock very, very soon. So I cannot wait to see you online. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.